Hello, thank you so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. Stable coins are now on Cardano. There are many great stable coins coming this year for Cardano. We already have some. We have also gotten the DJED testnet. DJED is something that we've been waiting for in the Cardano community for a very long time. The testnet is now here. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use the testnet, talking about what DJED is and more because this is a weekly recap video. I'm gonna be going over all of the information that you've missed in the Cardano ecosystem system and summing it up in this one short educational video. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you click the like button, comment down below, subscribe, notification bell, all it does support the channel. We are going to be doing an ADA giveaway in this video. So stay till the end and you'll learn how you can enter the ADA giveaway. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's jump right into the video. One thing this week that I thought was very cool was actually getting to see Charles Hoskinson on Fox News, as you can see Abby, here. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me on. So tell me about Input Output, your company, mm -hmm. and what you've been able to do in terms of... You know, it's good to have, uh, you know, traditional media and bringing Cardano awareness. So I was really happy to see this. And then on top of that, we got another photo. And this is actually, uh, you know, directly from Charles's account. Charles on Fox Business. So DJED is now live on Testnet. What is DJED? DJED is actually an algorithmic stablecoin being built for Cardano. There was actually an academic peer-reviewed paper written about DJED, and Charles Hoskinson has always been, you know, stated that he's excited about it. They wrote a paper by it about it, and there hasn't really been a, a paper written and reviewed about a decentralized algorithmic stablecoin in the past. And this is actually already working on Ergo. Uh, you know, I want to say about a year and a half ago, uh, they already built this stablecoin on Ergo. It worked out very well over there because Ergo is actually an extended UTXO blockchain just like Cardano. And that was actually built and tested by Emergo. Eventually, you know, they finished up the paper and they actually you know, gave this to Cody and allowed Cody to build this out and actually roll it out on Cardano. And here we are now, Cody has finally, you know, released at least the test net for this algorithmic stablecoin. So if you guys really enjoy my channel, but sometimes my videos are too long, which I know I do really long podcasts sometimes, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my smaller channel here, Big Pay Clips. I have many great, you know, clips from some of the great podcasts that I've made, for example, with Pi from Sunday Swap, you know, with Patrick Tobler, you know, Nico from DC Spark. There are a lot of great clips on here, you know, from the main podcast that maybe are parts that you missed because you couldn't stay till the end. So if you guys could check out that channel down below and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. One thing that's very exciting here is they're stating that Sunday Swap, Min Swap, and, R and Wing Riders are actually gonna start testing DJED through the pools on their platform. So you're gonna see DEXs on Cardano start to have the DJED stablecoin. So in this video, I actually wanted to get some of the stablecoin myself on the test net. However, it seems like they're having a 403 error here. You know, the cloud front's not working. So how does this actually work? Since I can't show you, which really sucks. How it works is you have this smart contract on Cardano and you have ADA. So what you can do is you can actually take a value of ADA that you have, let's say a thousand ADA, you can deposit it in the contract for JED, and then you get the JED from the contract. So I'm actually gonna have the image of this on screen of what it would actually look like if you're minting or burning JED. But once you actually mint the JED, you know, now you should have something that is a bit more stable in price than the ADA that you're burning. Again, I'm saying should, uh, you know, this is all new technology. There is risk involved. By design, when you mint the JED, let's say, you know, ADA, the price of it falls down, you should be able to take the JED that you minted and you should be able to burn it. And when you burn it, you should be able to get more ADA than when you came with as long as the price of ADA has fallen. So that's really the whole process here. You can mint JED with ADA and you can burn JED with ADA, but there's also a reserve coin. Feel free to look on screen of what this actually looks like. And currently the NAMI wallet is supported, but I suspect they'll support more wallets in the future. I don't wanna make this too complicated, but I wanna explain the whole picture here. So there's a stable coin and then there's a reserve coin here. And the reserve coin is really to add stability to the stable coin. So earlier we were talking about buying and selling the DJED thing, which is, or the DJED coin, which is actually, you know, minting JED with ADA and burning JED and getting ADA for that. You can also do the same thing with the reserve coin. 
However, there's a bit of, you know, a function here. So only while reserve is less than the minimum reserve, and then over here, you can only mint while the reserve is less than the reserve max. And then for selling it, there's another function here, only while reserve is less than reserve men. So the reserve minting and burning is they're actually being incentivized to do that to provide stability to the stable coin on the left. So I'm still learning about this stuff. I'm going to be able to explain it more in the future, but very excited to see algorithmic stable coins on Cardano. This is the first of many. We're going to see many more to come. And on top of this, we're already seeing USDC and I'm sure we're going to see USDT and all of the stable coins already on Ethereum. So exciting times for Cardano, I must say. What do you guys think of this? Let me know down below. Are you excited for stable coins? So this year, there is the Cardano event being hosted in Denver, Colorado on the 14th and 15th of October. The greatest projects and the greatest people in the Cardano ecosystem are all going to be coming to this event. So if you'd like to meet with them, if you'd like to network and you'd like to learn about the future of blockchain, this is the event that you have to go to. Some of these names include Singularity Net, Singularity Dow, Ben Gortzel, Sunday Swap, Myself, Input Output, Claymates, Ada Handle, Liquid Finance, Dwayne Cameron, Vi-Fi, Genius Yield, and the list goes on. More people are being added every day. Hotel rooms and tickets are being sold today. This really is going to be a great event and I would love for you to make it there. And right now we are actually doing a 10% discount to do that. Do pay 10, P-E-Y 10 uh, in the checkout window. And then on top of that, if you purchase by June 15th, you get an additional NFT with every purchase. Every purchase actually comes with two NFTs. If you purchase before June 15th, you're actually gonna get a third random NFT from one of our partnered companies and projects coming to this event. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you came to the event and I look forward to seeing you there. One thing that Cardano has always been good at is looking to the future. Where will we be in five years? What must be we be working on now to be in this space in five years, to be in the top five, to be in the top 10, to really push this industry forward? And we have an exclamation here from John Woods, and this was actually from the Cardano 360, about the future of Cardano and about a constant streaming of transactions in a flurry of blocks all at once. All of the stuff that we have releasing now was, you know, Charles's vision from five years ago and we're starting to see the vision from five years from now uh, and it's really exciting so let's jump right into it. The key realization that that research had was if we decompose this or we split the block into two so no longer having a single block in the network but we now have two blocks and we use one block to hold transactions and another block to achieve consensus then we have these two block types that work together and what's great here is at the moment, our single block is every 20 seconds. So every 20 seconds or so, we have a block that contains transactions and helps with consensus. We're moving to a new system with Ouroboros Eleos or input endorsers, where we'll still have this consensus block every 20 seconds. But instead of containing transactions, it will no longer do that. It will instead have a reference to a block that holds transactions. But these blocks are much, much faster. So we're going to be constantly streaming transactions non-stop, okay? There's going to be a flurry of these blocks that contain just transactions. And the blocks that are responsible for consensus will simply reference them using what's called reference semantics or a pointer. So with this new system, effectively, we can have consensus every 20 seconds as we currently do. But rather than waiting every 20 seconds to send transactions, we're going to send them all the time. And this ultimately yields a super fast layer one. Now, we don't need this right now. Our current technologies are keeping up with demand, no problem, but we need to stay ahead of the game. And how do we do that? We think for the future and we start implementing this stuff before it's required. So it's just so exciting to me, you know, just this idea of a constant streaming of transactions. As you know, currently, you really have a block every 20 seconds. So if I send you, you know, a transaction right now and it's at the start of that 20 seconds, it'll take about 20 seconds for that to be final. But eventually we can have a constant stream every second or every two seconds uh, to really have fast finality time without giving up the security. Uh, and that's that's really awesome. I must say, I'm really excited for everything coming in the hard fork next month and all of these products to release. Uh, it's it, it's great.
It really is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to enter the giveaway, what you have to do is join the Discord server down below and also comment John Woods down below. Once you join the Discord server, fill out the caption, go to the giveaways tab, react with the confetti symbol, and you are now in the giveaway. If you guys did enjoy this video, please click the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really does support the channel. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. I would appreciate that. Love you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.